The 21st of March 2022 started, just like any other day for commercial flights in China, however by afternoon, the country would have recorded its worst aviation accident in over a decade. China Eastern Airlines Flight 5735, or MU5735, a Boeing 737-800, crashed just shortly before its top of descent while flying from Kunming to Guangzhou. According to flight tracking website, Flight Radar 24, the aircraft entered a near vertical dive with a rate of descent of over 31,000 feet per minute. Generally, commercial aircraft like the Boeing 737 descend at between 1,500 to 2,500 feet per minute when they commence their descent from cruising altitude. Even in case of emergency descents due to pressurization failures, the rate of descent generally does not exceed 7,000 feet per minute. Following the crash, visuals showed MU-5735 in an almost vertical dive towards the ground. Chinese authorities later confirmed that there were no survivors among the 123 passengers and nine crew members. There were three pilots on board this seven-year-old Boeing 737, as the third pilot was undergoing training. Chinese authorities confirmed that they have recovered the CVR, or cockpit voice recorder of the aircraft, in a relatively good condition. Aircraft black boxes, which comprise the CVR and Digital Flight Data Recorder, or DFDR, are essential for investigators to find out what caused a crash. These devices are built to withstand fire, water, and can take high-impact forces up to 3,400 g for a few milliseconds too. Though Chinese authorities initially claimed the CVR was recovered in a good condition, they later clarified that the memory chip was damaged and would need to be sent to the manufacturer for further analysis. In the case of the CVR, the manufacturer is Honeywell International. The CVR has been sent to an institute in Beijing for analysis. On the 27th of March 2022, nearly a week after the crash, authorities confirmed they had located the DFDR as well, which was buried nearly 1.5 meters deep into the ground. In a press conference, authorities said that the DFDR was in a better condition than the CVR. The DFDR, too, was flown to Beijing for further analysis and downloading of its data. Until authorities examine this data, we cannot comment on what caused the crash of MU-5735. As of March 28, 2022, authorities say they have recovered 33,777 pieces of debris and have identified 120 victims from the crash. China said it hasn't found any evidence of explosive materials in the wreckage. Lab tests were taken of 66 samples and the results show no common inorganic or organic explosive substance, is what authorities announced in a media briefing. China has also mentioned that once it completes the search efforts and enters the accident investigation stage, it will invite relevant parties to contribute to the investigation. In this case, that will be the United States NTSB since the aircraft is American designed. According to some reports, an Air China aircraft has been sent to the United States to pick up NTSB investigators, however, we do not have official confirmation yet. China Eastern Airlines and its subsidiaries have grounded the Boeing 737-800 temporarily. Including group company Shanghai Airlines, 223 Boeing 737-800 aircraft have been grounded in China. China happens to be the largest operator of the 737-800, with over 1,200 of these aircraft in service. Additionally, the recent crash is also a setback for Boeing, as China is the only major global market where the 737 MAX is still not operational following its grounding. Prior to the China Eastern Airlines crash, Chinese authorities were showing signs that they intended to restore the airworthiness of the 737 MAX this year, with Boeing hoping to deliver a sizable chunk of the 140 MAX aircraft it had already built for Chinese carriers from the first half of 2022. We will be updating our channel 
as we learn more about China Eastern Flight 5735.